The first thing we need to do is to open the App Store on your iPhone. Once you've opened the App Store, you want to click on the search icon in the bottom right hand corner, and then you want to search for an application called Pedometer Plus Plus. Once you've searched for it, it should be the top result, which will look like this. If you scroll down, you can view more information about it. However, to install it, you want to scroll to the top and click on the Get button. However, mine shows the cloud icon because I've downloaded this in the past. Now we've installed the application to our iPhone, you want to click Open. And when you open it for the first time, you see this screen. So you want to click Continue. And then you want to click on Allow to allow pedometer access to your fitness activity, such as your steps. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the application and now we can add our step count to the lock screen of our iPhone. So to do this, you want to go to the lock screen of your iPhone and you can also do this by swiping down from the top left hand corner. Now you want to press and hold anywhere on the lock screen. From here, you want to click on the customize button and there you want to select lock screen and you should see all of your highlighted widgets that you can change. So you want to go ahead and select a widget that you want to change. So for this example, I'm going to delete the weather widget and then I'm going to replace it with the pedometer widget. So we're going to scroll down until we find pedometer and tap into that. And then you want to go ahead and choose a widget you want to add. So for this example, I'm going to add the step count. So I'm going to drag this widget into place. And now I've successfully added a step count to the lock screen of my iPhone. So I want to exit out of the widget selector. And now I want to click on done in the top right hand corner. And then I want to select the theme that I was just on. And now, as you can see, the step count is now being displayed on the home screen of my iPhone. And because this is synced with my Apple data, if I open the fitness application, as you can see, the information has been synced. 